What is up guys, Sink here, and we're back on Star Trek Fleet Command. So as you can tell from that <clears throat> amazing intro, I have finally unlocked my USS Saladin. But if we go over to ship construction, I just want to show you this. Now the USS Saladin start, starts off with a base strength of 226,000 strength. Now this is with no upgrades, without leveling, without officers, which is pretty damn impressive. If you compare it to the Mayflower, it's pretty damn nice. Intrepid? Yeah. Baby, you're coming soon. You're coming soon. Don't worry. You're coming soon. But yes, I'm going to compare it to... It's not fair comparison because I'm going to compare it to the Kira. Which honestly, there's not really a comparison. But I just want to show you weapon-wise. Now with the Kira, as you can see, it's actually got two lots of photon torpedoes, kinetics. Can't tell you which MK they are. And also a phaser bank energy MK7. Now, compared to the USS Saladin, obviously it's tier 7, so it's a lot higher on the strength. But weaponry-wise, it's kind of lacking. It actually has an MK9 and also the Phaser Taurus Energy MK8, which is, honestly, it's lacking in weaponry-wise. It really is lacking in weaponry. But if we have a look at the description, the USS Saladin class interceptor is a small Starfleet construction used for dogfighting scenarios, mainly in defense of outposts and space stations. So this is primarily for defending your station. Now unlike its older cousin, the Mayflower class, the Saladin relies on a single nacelle and a ray of thrusters along the source section to provide its maneuverability. So it is really, really good at defense of your base. Now, the reason it's really good at defending bases is because of its ship ability. As you can see here, Protector, when the station or the USS Saladin gets attacked, increases the shield health of all ships and defense platforms by 28%. Now, obviously, depending on the tier of the Saladin, depends on the amount of bonus it actually gives percentage-wise to the ship and defense, uh, defense platforms. So this ship, when docked at the station, provides a massive boost to your defense of the station. But don't think it's actually just for that, because the Saladin, 465 strength, actually punches quite well above its weight class. Now what I'm going to do is actually send it over to this section. So we've arrived our ship in a swarm sector. As you can see, the level 28 interceptors as well. And running at 605,000 strength. And as you, as you can see, I'm running at 447. So realistically, this shouldn't be a fight I'd win. But if I send my ship in to attack, we're going to see. This is how good the Saladin actually is. So we've entered combat. And let's have a quick look. Now, as you can see, it's taken about 10% of my hull just to defeat that. Now, realistically, going up against a ship with uh, 605,000 strength and I'm running at that, realistically, I shouldn't be winning these fights with just 10% hull damage. So it's actually quite impressive. Now, obviously, the Saladin does require a bit of rep to get with the Federation. Now, if we go down here, 
as you can see to actually unlock the Saladin and start earning your blueprints does actually require consort which well I don't actually have that rep so a big thank you to Scopely for sending me the blueprints to actually unlock the Saladin um, yeah it is seriously such an impressive ship and obviously with the rep wise it does take a lot of rep to be able to unlock it and I am loving this ship so much. It's helped me immensely completing missions I would never have thought I'd be able to complete in quite a long time. So yeah, the Saladin is so goddamn impressive in every single way. So anyway guys, I hope this gives you an insight into the Saladin. And I really hope you guys get to unlock it soon. Because it helps so much in doing so much. Whether you're defending your base, attacking other players, or just trying to get missions which you really didn't think you'd ever be able to get done. The Saladin is a ship which does immense amount of help to you. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to leave a comment, please do. And keep an eye on the channel because Scopely is actually doing a competition on my channel to give away a load of free stuff, which I think you guys really might be interested in. Anyway guys, I'm going to catch you next time.